The signal state is not a game for me, but I know that there are people out there who would probably absolutely fall in love with this title. And so I've given it my best shot to go in here and at least I can demonstrate what the core game loop is about. Uh, and also, um, and you know, and, and that way, if you if, if maybe you're into this kind of thing, like if you're somebody who's into Zactronics uh, uh, games like uh, Shenzhen IO uh, or um, uh, Infiniminer, like games that uh, basically require you to sit there and log logistics slash engineer your way to victory. Uh, this is the game for you. Now, a couple people have reached out to me um, and said, you know, this might be a game you're interested in because it is similar to modular synthesis. Now, as as somebody who does make music and as somebody who has a, a deep understanding of how synthesizers work, it is very different uh, uh, building logic systems where, that don't necessarily rely on audio versus creating a sound that you, you're modulating and you're creating in real time. This game does not uh, satisfy the modular synthesis uh, side, but it does satisfy the modular logic side for those people who are interested in that. And this is, a, this is where I struggle with this because I don't do modular synthesis. Uh, I, I, I primarily work with synths that are built. Uh, imagine I have a synth that has a million knobs on it, and I know each one of those knobs do, and I can patch some of those to different knobs, but I can't build the entire synth behind those knobs, if that makes sense. And that's what you're doing here. Uh, you're building the core of what would be modular synthesis. So if you're not into music, it's fine. The game is heavily, heavily, heavily logic based. Um, let's go ahead and get in. I'm gonna select a couple levels here that I've already done. They are very basic, but again, I want to show you guys just some of the, uh, uh, just some of the things you could do. So we're going to go into an existing game here and you'll see you're you're presented with a rack now every game mode that you go into or every i'm sorry every uh, uh, uh challenge you go into is going to be designed kind of like this and you have two different tabs here you can go here and you can see that there's you have a vca uh you have attenuator you have bias you have uh, some splits you have a notepad if you want to pull that out and just start taking some notes or something like that you can and you have an oscilloscope so for the uninitiated an oscilloscope it basically just shows you the uh, the existing wave and it holds it there for you so you can match and you could you could basically troubleshoot and match and, and look at different waves under have a better understanding of where they're at and also you can modulate uh, waves so let me do this let me actually uh, let me go back and we'll do um, uh, let's see we'll go load game and then uh, I'll go back and we see return main menu and then return without saving and then what we'll do is we'll load that same uh, that same challenge uh, which I did yesterday but it doesn't necessarily mean that I still get it uh, or actually here we go to a VCA test ah, here we go it's perfect so we'll do this and we'll do it new so it even tells you objectives here so you have a little bit of chat there's a little bit of a kind of behind the scenes where you get some discussion and everything uh, a story uh, and then over here it says objectives you know each each time step out one receives a specified percentage of source one's signal the percentage value is specified for by source two so this is generally how they set you up they say that source one equals this I want you to do this before it hits out one right so here's source one and here's source two so if i go source one two out just straight up and then i hit space it's going to show me that this is incorrect it's all over the place incorrect right so uh we'll stop it there and here's what i like to do i like to go to step eight and then just stop right there and click on that Oh, do they not have that function? Oh, okay. I guess they don't introduce that until later, so they don't really actually do it, which is silly. Um, <laughs> but what you can do is you go and you can click on eight, and it'll put a, a, a pause break there, so it'll stop. But since we don't have that, let's go and stop playback, it'll oscillate, and so here's what we'll do. We'll go over here, we'll put this here, uh, and it wants me to use the VCA to modulate this signal. So what we could do is do this, then we could put this here, and then we put this here, and this will let us just view what the signal looks like. So 28, 27, 30, right? And we go over here, we could see. Um, uh, let's see what is it want. It wants out one 28 27 minus 30 26. We've matched that up So this was an easy one, right? So we'll stop playback. We'll go over here out and then boom. That's it So this is like an easy solution. This is basic stuff, right? Just showing you what a voltage control uh, 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 Amplifier I think yeah, uh can do so um, again, if you're not familiar with this level of modular, I, I guess, synthesis, um, or just a, a, a electronics, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I'm doing here is I'm feeding a source, and that source looks like blank, right? Let me go here, and I'll show you what these two sources look like. 
very different right this one's got a feed here and then this one is basically serving well nothing right now uh here let's go and turn this off and we'll match this over here oops put this over here and then we could see how these things match up like they don't look anything like each other but it's okay we're not we're not they're not supposed to what we want to do is modulate uh source one with source two and the way that we do that is by putting this into cv good control voltage and the number that it puts in here is then fed and is then, is then modulating the volume of this thing and the intensity so you can see 45 about 60 percent of that i guess it's 27 uh is c 80 20 percent of that 16 uh it's it's gonna round it up or down um is that correct? Is that the way it does? I think I think that's how it works. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I, I know that uh, I know I know how this thing works. Explaining it is very difficult. <laughs> so so this is this is like basic synthesis for me, right? When we start getting the more difficult things, this is where some of you guys will probably excel, especially those of you guys who work with uh, you know, maybe electricians or some of you guys who let me see 27, 28, 27. Um, oh, no, no, no. Uh, those of you guys who maybe just work with logic systems, period. Maybe you're an engineer or something uh, or maybe you code, uh, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe you just maybe you just have the brain for it. Right. Uh, so if I go to min max test, this is a pretty good demonstration uh, of the min max system and also gives me my pause break back. So what we'll do is we'll put a pause break right here at eight. There it is. And what that does is when the thing plays, it'll stop right there. Perfect. So then I'll take one of these oscillos uh, this oscilloscope here. I don't know. It gives you some more notes and all that stuff. You can move all of these, all these things, by the way. It's just like a real rack. So you can just basically just toss these things all over the place. So if you like to have maybe, uh, you know, I like to have the oscilloscope basically next to the output. And then I basically feed it like this. It doesn't want a one and two, I think, right? Let me see. Uh, see, source one, source two, and source three are random signals. Out one receives the greatest signal of the value. So this is basically just demonstrating how the min-max system works. And so we want to have, uh, since it wants to have source one, two, and three, and each min-max bar only has two, we have to create a chain, right? So we have to basically daisy chain these things together like this. And this out is going to feed into this one. So we could do a third comparison here. So basically one comparison, two, and then three, uh, and then output here. So this will go to, what does it want me to do? Out one receives the greatest signal. Okay, so max. Uh, it's the value of, I think this is what I see. Uh, receive the greatest signal value out of the three. Okay, cool. So then we take source one, we feed it here, and then we uh, put source two in here, and then source three in here. So now what's happening is source one and source two are basically being compared to the maximum between those two. I've hit space here real quick. So that 30 is going to go through. So then 30 goes to here. What's the maximum? 30. Boom, right? Uh, and so that is going to be a match. Probably, it's probably going to match all the way down, actually. It is. All right, cool. So that's a match all the way through. Uh, and then if we want to do min, we have to do the same thing. So min, we're going to click over here. I don't know if there's a hot key to swap between these two. I've been hitting a bunch of keys. It'd be really nice if there was a way to, uh, to just hit a key and then toggle back and forth. Yeah, see, don't tab. No, not like that. Escape. Nope. Uh, F1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, no. Uh, just kind of going through, like, you can basically do everything with the mouse very quickly. You click, click, drag, and then, you know, toggle things. But not being able to switch to these two is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, let me see. So we go to max, or sorry, min for this one. And this one just wants uh, out to receive the smallest. So basically the same thing. Ah, okay. So now we get to demonstrate the, uh, the split. So now we want to split um, probably a few times, actually. So we want to split this. So we're going to ditch these uh, for now. We'll keep that one in there. Can I connect to another input? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, so we'll go source one, source two, and source three. Now we have a splitter that gives us maximum like outputs here, like four outputs for each one, plenty. So we want to rebuild this guy here because we know this works and then we'll test it real quick. Good, that works. Bottom one's trash, right? We know that already. Uh, but now we have outputs here. We could basically build the same thing down here, I think. Let me see, one, two, three, and then this goes here. Feed this guy to this and feed this to that. Oops, missed. And then this should give us our min. And there you go. And we could go ahead and hit space again, and it'll go past our pause break. And this is how you would complete this this level. Now, uh, I'm actually, I, I kind of want to go to one of my more recent ones, um, just to see if I could solve it, like one that I have not done, uh, because that's where I stopped. I was just like, I can't. <laughs> uh, so let me see, we'll go back here. We'll go continue game. This should pick me up where, where I left off. So here it goes. So here's, here's your campaign. I trust Gordon has done his job well. You should be decently familiar with how VCAs and logic modules work, work now. Uh, I'm still not quite sure. <laughs> that's okay. You can always revisit the old circus at any time. You can refresh your memory to try to solve them differently. Yeah. Sure, got it. <laughs> Me, I'm struggling. I was struggling last night trying to figure out. I'm like, how am I going to do a video on this thing if I, if I can't even figure it out myself? 
<laughs> See, the first component is a central pump. It provides very precise rate of flow of water. The story is that you're trying to revitalize this farm. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic setup, right? And so you're trying to revitalize this farm so you, your, your community can use it. So VCA, VCA gating and logic, give it a shot. Cool, click go to the details tab. So here we go. Uh, oh, did I not? Oh, I guess I did not actually um, finish this one here. I guess I couldn't solve this one for some reason. I wonder if I could solve it today. I'm fresh on coffee and everything, right? Let me see what I have. Okay. Not looking so hot. <laughs> I think the problem here... Okay, so here we go. When Source 2 and Source 3 are at 100 volts, send Source 1 to Out 1. So Source 1 and Source 3... Uh, let me see. And those should be going to the same... Let's see, Source 1, Source 3. Okay, here we go. So these are going here. Okay, so if both of these... Or... So or... So if both of these... This is right here. Outputs 100 volts if either inputs are more than, 100, more than 0. So it sees are at 100 volts. And so since this is a gate, I know this is a gate because I already tested this. So we'll go put this here and you'll see. It should be 100, 100 to 0. Yeah, 100, 0, 100, 0, 100, 100, 100, 0. Like that. So that's a gate. A gate is where um, something is either all the way on. It's a binary, right? It's either open or it's closed. Like a gate. Um, I guess the gate could be like halfway closed, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so so I, I've successfully like routed these into here, but then I have it controlling this over here. Let me see. So... Uh, See, hundred percent. Okay, that's right. Because all these kind of chain together, so there's only one output. So all three of these steps need to be met in order to send the correct output here. So now, now that we've filtered this correctly, this is the, this output is going to give us, you know, the one or the, the 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 first step satisfies the first step, right? To send source one to out one, we're not going to send it out one because we need to then modulate further. So let me go take this off. So, so if either source two or source three, but not both, are at hundred volts. So then the inverse of source one to out one. Now this is where I was kind of messing up because I wasn't sure exactly if, like why, why I couldn't figure out the inverse thing. Um, probably the best way to test if you want to see what your, let me actually go ahead and just remove some of these things uh, for now and then we'll figure it out later. There you go. Uh, and I have an and here, I'll throw it to this side. And a VCA, I was going to do this. Okay, so we'll throw these guys to this side. We're probably going to come back and use them. But here's what I'll do. I'll use a bias. Now, bias will basically apply a certain number. So what I'll do is I'll say like 10, right? So I'll say 10, and it'll just basically just create a 10 decibel signal. And I'll, I'll put it in the attenuator. Uh, now, the 10 here is going to be set to uh, 100. Actually, no, I'll go straight to it here. Go straight to the business here. Get rid of that. Okay, so now we can see, I don't have my marker here. Temps eight. So now we see that put that 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Great. And we want to inverse the signal, right? So let's try to put this in here. And then we'll hit it again. Minus 10. Boom. Okay. So minus 100% does indeed invert the signal. Okay. So we did do that right. So we could take this signal. We could take this and we can now apply it to this. So we know that this is now correct. And we can lock these if we want to. Lock, lock. And then you can't move these things around. It'll tell you, right? So there's 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 some options here. One thing I would like to see is it kind of uh, you know for, for a, a game where you're constantly putting like copies of different uh, mod modules and whatnot. I'm surprised there's no like control click or alt click or shift click to just click and drag new ones. That would just really save a lot of time. Um, you know what's funny? Like just just if I could just sidetrack for a second here. Let's see reason. So just so you see, like this is what reason looks like, right? And this is how I this is how I, I make music. Yeah, you know, I route all these things. But again, like this is not this is routing existing uh, uh, st like uh, uh, structures that are kind of designed already. Like I'm I'm routing cutoff or resonance or an LFO or an oscillator or something between different things in order to achieve certain effects. Uh, I, but I'm not building the oscillator. I'm not building the cutoff filter from from behind the scenes if that makes sense so it's it's funny like i'm looking at this and this looks exactly like that right like this looks like reason to me <laughs> and it's such a struggle okay so we don't need the bias anymore it's good testing uh good for testing we know the attenuator is good but there's another set here so it says uh if either blank 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 then send inverse of source one to out one so we know that this is wait the inverse of source one this is source no okay okay hold on a second uh no the attenuator does not go there this has to go to the okay that's why i have that little voltage there okay so we'll do this and then we'll take a copy of source one we'll put it here and with this here and so it should invert that signal first let's check, check it here we'll do the first eight we have 6 12 18 24 30. Oh, there's a there's a pattern there. Uh, 618, 24, 30. Now, if I go inverse, we should see 618, 24, 30 in the opposite direction. Good. Okay, so we know we're inverting the signal. Great. 
So uh, now, now we know for sure that this is correct. So these three things are correct. We knew for sure that they were correct the first time when it was wrong, but now we definitely know. Uh, so, so if both both source two and source three are at zero volts, send zero volts to out one. Okay, so if both, so it's and, uh, source two and source three. So we'll grab another copy of source two and source three. Source three. Uh, then send zero volts to out one. We'll see if, if both inputs are more than zero. This will be the opposite of what I want, right? Let's see, zero. Send zero. Oh, okay, so let's see. If uh, if both inputs are zero. Okay, no, that's right. Uh, put. Oh, so it's gonna send. Oh, it does do the inverse. Okay, so this needs an inverse as well. What the fuck do I do with this? Is this a trick? Is step one and step two just to juke you, and then source three, or then number three is really the actual? I feel like that's a trick. Let's invert. Can we invert? It would be an attenuator of 50%, right? Because it's got to be, it's not going to be minus 100% because it'll just invert it to minus 100. So it should be 50%. So 50% here. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> minus 50. Okay, yeah, that's not what it's supposed to do. Um, I did it wrong. God, I feel like I'm so close. This, this is, yeah, this is where I stopped and I was like, I'm not going to show this one because I look like an idiot. <laughs> uh, let me see. Do I have to build a gate somehow? Let me see. If both source 2 and source 3 are at 0 volts, send 0 volts to L1. But how does that play in with this? I can't just, fuck, what happens if I put this here? How close is it? Oh, snap. It's kind of close. Oh, 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 Hold on a second. Uh, that's... God damn, it's, it was it's really close here. Okay, so I have to modulate it with something else then. I really do have to modulate it with something else, but what? And how? I bet it's an attenuator, or it's um, uh, a VCA. Let's try a VCA. <laughs> Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, it's so easy to do. Yeah, I know, I know it's easy to do, all right? This is not, this is not me. This is not what I do. <laughs> God, it was clenching so hard. I was yelling at my screen. Fuck you. I know. All right. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to show you this part. <laughs> but now I want to know. Let me see. All right. What does the not do? Let me see. So it says it outputs 100 volts or zero volts depending on the input. All right. So. <sighs> so for some of you, you're like, oh, man, I can't wait to get my hands on this and send Mike me a screenshot and show him how dumb he is. That's fine. That's fine. That means you bought the game. And that means my job here is done do you get it do you understand it's a game that i know some of you guys are gonna be like fuck yeah and some of you guys are gonna be like what no and that's fine because those of you can say fuck yeah you're gonna go and you're gonna buy this game all right god damn i can't believe it. i can't i don't understand and you know what's funny you know what's funny uh, uh i even even after the fact i was like you know what let me let me go and see if i can find like a guide or something like that. So I found this guy that shows the answers to some of them, and I think I was looking at what I was, what I was just doing. But the problem is, this is old, right? It's old, so it, I can't really sound like it doesn't really match up. Like the UI is different. It's in Chinese or something. Uh, like I just does. Is it Chinese? I don't even know. Um, it's the fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. So like I even tried to cheat, and I still couldn't do it. So so there you go. Um, I will say the music is quite good. The music is very, very relaxing. They've done a really good job of just giving you some like mellow, just behind, just kind of like background music. It's very unobtrusive, especially when you have stuff that's going do 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 like every fucking ten seconds when you're testing. Uh, it does a good job of kind of just you know staying in the background and not being intrusive. Uh, the intro maybe is a little bit more, but everything else is very minimalistic. And, uh, and it gives you an opportunity to just kind of relax. And, and honestly, even though last night when I was like struggling to figure out some of these uh, some of these puzzles, um, I was still I was still enjoying. It was still relaxing. It was still soothing. I still kind of had a good time. I was kind of experimenting, trying different things. Um, I w I wouldn't mind seeing. And I don't know. Maybe it happens later on. But I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, uh, like an audio version of this. You know, like I mean, all the pieces are here. Um, but you're not really modulating the signal. The signal is just like, it's just a basic, like, sawtooth. <laughs> Sounds like an old game show. <laughs> so, yeah, not necessarily the most melodic thing. Can't, like, make some sick beats or anything like that. But it would be nice if there was something like that. There is something like that. It's called Reason. <laughs> 
it's called Reason. It's got everything you need. It'll basically do all this stuff, uh, except you actually make music with it. So that's it, guys. The name of the game is Signal State. Uh, there's a demo of it available on Steam if you want to go and check it out for yourself and kind of play around with some of the opening uh, the opening missions and everything and kind of get the gist and all that. Uh, super lightweight game, though. Just kind of run in the background. Something to do for fun. Second screen. Uh, totally worth it for that. So that's it. My name is Mike B. A. K. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.